Beatus essay, this is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome number 8 for those of you born on the 8th, the 17th, the 26th. Do the math and if your birth date adds up to a number 8, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of 3 cards, 3 oracular cards from 3 different decks. The Lord Shiva's deck, you have the Dragon Oracle deck and the Moonology Oracle. Alright, let's move on to the... Four, week, uh, four weeks and each of these weeks are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Smith Weight, Vicar Tarot, Celtic Dragon and the Dragon Tarot. Alright? Alright, let's see what number eight you've pulled out for yourself for the month of February. The Waxing Moon that says the energy is gaining momentum. The beautiful card of Wisdom, one of my favorites. And the Shiva Job card. Right, I'll explain all of them one by one. Let's begin with this one. Now remember, I taught you the waxing moon is the size of the moon increases as it comes closer and closer to the full moon date. Right, that's why it's called waxing. After the full moon, when the size of the moon reduces, it's called waning moon. This card is here to say in the month of February, this energy that you are putting out there is increasing and gaining momentum. I would like to assume that it's good energy you're putting out there. But whatever it is, whatever effort of thought, whatever effort of action you're putting in, in anything in your life, is gaining momentum. So depending on whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, that is how you'll be expecting the return. So please continue your journey if it is good and reverse and backtrack if it is not good. This is a beautiful card of wisdom. Um, it's also equivalent to the card of temperance in Rider and Smith Wade decks. This card says that you have to be wise in terms of dunya dari like they say in Hindi. And uh, this is something that you don't learn from books, but it comes through experience, through knowledge of day-to-day -day workings. You have to think before you speak. Remember your, your words have weight. Remind yourself that you could hurt or help depending on what you say and how you portray yourself and present yourself. Uh, choose your battles wisely, choose your words wisely, choose your thoughts wisely, not just uh, in terms of how you speak with, to yourself or how you speak, but also in how you treat yourself. Okay, so be aware and mindful of each and everything Yes, it is an exhaustive process, but practice will make you perfect. Better to start now than to regret later. Okay? Right. So, among the many uh, uh, Lord Shiva, Bholinath, or Baba, as I call him, um, has bestowed many, many jobs to us. Uh, and uh, so, these are mantras, right? And there are like Om Namah Shivai, Mahamrityunjay, these are all uh, very, very uh, common and they are rampantly used. For Pujo. For this month, I want you to focus on Om Namo Bhagavate Rudrai. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudrai is one of the jobs that speak about fulfillment of your desires. So pick one thing that you really want, keep that in your focal point, and then it, chant it 108 times. Try and see if you can be consistent. Usually you see results in about uh, 40 days' time, a month and 10 days. Okay? So this is. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudrai. Alright. Let's begin with the first week of uh, February 2024, number 8. You've pulled out the Tower card, the Judgment card, and two Queen of Swords card. Right? So let's do the Tower card first. So something that you were expecting to end... Um, will now end faster than what you expected it to. The good news is over and done with, since we're expecting it that stress will reduce. The challenge here, there's nothing bad in this, okay? The challenge here is how you come out of this, how you learn from it and use this to your advantage to become a bigger, better, brighter version of yourself. That's all this card means. Technically, this is a card of growth, so take it like that. The judgment cards, is a karmic card it tells me that you need to release your karmic baggage if you have not had your annual karmic baggage released please get in touch with us and we'll try and fit you 
fit you in in this slot over the weekend usually we do it on a saturday or a sunday um, now a lot of you also tell me no it's not possible um i had my you know i'm very nice to everyone so the deal is if you are being tough on yourself if you have been neglecting yourself that is also bad karma um mm, sometimes it happens even when you don't want it to happen but don't have a choice for example if you had to sue or sack someone from their job and you didn't have a choice they were in the wrong but you deprived the entire family of a salary karmically you are in the wrong that's how the universe works you may not agree with it but the universe really doesn't care what you agree or disagree with the law is the law right like the law of the land so check your karmic baggage and make sure it's released two queen of swords card tells me that you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that uh, you're being a little stern as compared to uh, who you really are don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card means that you're being stern in getting a particular job done because the responsibility and accountability of the result of that job completely depends on you so don't be hard on yourself don't let this define you don't worry this won't define you because the people who matter should get to know that you're being stern because you value the result because it will directly reflect upon your capability right this card also speaks about widowhood and divorce so either you're dealing with somebody like that or you yourself fall in that category all right the second week of feb 2020 Four. Number eight, you've pulled out the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So the Queen of Cups tells me that you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with one. Don't go by the gender. You could be a male also. This card speaks about the fact that you're holding on to something too tightly. You want this really badly. It could be a aim dream person thing target a wish a desire a physical object um whatever it is your holding on to this tightly is making you come across as a desperate and helpless person um and that's not how you want to be defined also it's a low vibe I would rather you focus on the process and let the universe take care of the rest, right? Ace of Wands, you know, we use this card a lot in spell casting. This card says that the creative solution that you're looking for to the challenge that you're facing lies in magic. Your happiness quotient lies in the kind of magic you choose to practice. Okay. be careful when you spell casting or be careful when you're going to a spell caster two of wands um ace and two lovely so ace of wands and two of wands as progression for sure so you have a choice um of making what you have in your hand bigger better and brighter you already know that you have something good going in your hand and you want to you want to up your game you want to make it better to present before you present it to the world and you are being creative about it which is a it's a good way to keep yourself occupied this card also means that you might be planning a trip by the water page of swords tells me that you might be receiving a harsh message or giving out one if you're receiving a harsh message uh, be gentle about it and uh, no need to retaliate or react better to move away and if you are giving out a harsh message make sure that it's the last resort The third week of uh, Feb 2024, number eight. You've pulled out the Ace of Wands again. We just did it. The Seven of Coins or the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Coins or the Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress card. So uh, here you go. Second time this is coming. Second and third week. So it looks like. Well, the good news is you have the solution for sure. That's what the cards are saying. And because it's a double card, it means. it is definitely happening second and third week 
but you need to be proactive and have the spell cast okay very good seven of coins tells me that you are thinking about increasing your coffers increasing your savings probably saving up to buy something or saving up for the heck of saving and increasing your uh, wallet size whatever it is it's a good thing you're thinking about it and it's a good thing okay it's a good card nine of coins tells me that you are going to be attracted to um well that's interesting actually i'll just explain this and then i'll bring the previous card over so you want something which is considered to be a luxury item and you will want that in your life and you'll be attracted to it it could be anything from a vehicle to a mobile to a uh you know satin shiny outfit don't go by the gender you could be a male also um expensive things basically but at the same time you don't want to eat up from your savings so that's how seven and nine are here so you'll be cautious and not try to dip too much into your pocket too deep into your pocket the empress card is here to say that uh, don't go by the gender you could be a male also you're pregnant with ideas right now abundant with all sorts of ideas and these are going to be creative and lucrative ideas learn to prioritize see what happens and what is possible what can be done and don't spread yourself too thin in case you're trying for a baby then now is the right time this card also means that people are flocking up to you because of the abundant energy that you're throwing out you have to match this vibe and if you aren't get in touch with us we can do a vibe switch for you and the last week of feb 2024 you've pulled out the strength card the emperor card the three of wands and the page of swords so the page of swords has come once before oh my god it's slippery like an eel so the page of swords has come already once before you know what the rule position is if it's come more than once the universe wants you to sit up and take a notice so receiving or giving out a harsh message that's happening be prepared for it three of wands tells me that you already have made up your mind in terms of the choices and yet you are holding on uh, to the action part of it and not willing to let go of the other choices and the other options please understand make the move before the universe makes the move for you right be proactive this could also mean that you're planning a trip by the water the emperor card tells me that you could be an aries or dealing with one this card also means that uh, you're thinking of securing the future of your next generation could be your siblings of offsprings nephew niece etc this card also means that you're taking decisions, um, important decisions in your life, keeping in mind an action-oriented mentor, adult male, or a member in the family. <coughs> the last card is a strength card, which says that you could be a Leo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to tame your inner lion, be a little more tolerant of those who don't match up to your standards, be less opinionated, less judgmental, uh, because you don't want other people to treat you the same way all right and number eight sometimes it's very difficult for you but i'm sure you'll manage <laughs> okay that's all i have for you for the month of feb i will see you in the month of march until then take care of yourselves love light and knowledge to you all and om sarve bhavantu sukhina be at this essay